The Battle for Kherson, Part 2. There was a briefing given by the newly appointed singular commander of Russian forces in the special military operation, General Sirovokin. And he said, the situation on the battlefield is tense. He also talked about the need to evacuate civilians from areas around the city of Kherson, indicating that the war is about to come to them. The next day, Russian President Vladimir Putin declares martial law in the four newly acquired territories, Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk, and Lugansk, and also imposes an enhanced security regime in other Russian provinces and districts. At the same time, he talked about creating a new special military commission, which would streamline the support provided by Russian agencies and departments to the special military operation. Observers have acted with alarm. You combine General Armageddon's statement together with Vladimir Putin's speech, and suddenly people have been darkened with doom and gloom. Russia's losing. They're abandoning Kherson. It's over. How could this come to this? It's not happening at all. By evacuating the citizens from Kherson, General Sirovokin is doing what any general should be doing, removing citizens from harm's way. The Russians, unlike the Ukrainians, don't use civilians as human shields. By removing the civilians from the battle zone, Russia increases its opportunities and its options in engaging the Ukrainian forces, which they're doing, by the way, with great success. Ukraine hasn't gained one inch in the new Kherson offensive as of this two-minute topic. Moreover, by creating this special military commission, Vladimir Putin is putting in motion the capabilities that will overcome the inefficiencies that were discovered during the partial mobilization. And eliminating inefficiencies only increases the lethality of the Russian military on the Kherson front and other fronts. Far from losing, Russia is winning, but that's a message the West doesn't want to hear. This has been my two-minute topic, and remember, knowledge is power.